Look at all the top guys in the industry. Liver King, what does that guy promote? Just eating raw organs, right? That's all he talks about. You look at Jeff Cavalier, Athlete X. If you want to look like an athlete, you got to train like an athlete. Look at Greg O'Gallagher. What does he preach? If you want a movie star body, you do three full body workouts a week and intermittent fast the rest of the time. You look at Elliot Hulse. If you want to have a great life, you got to have a strong body and you got to lift heavy stuff, right? You look at Jeff Nippert. If you want to have a physique like his, it's science, 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 right? Each person that is crushing it online is communicating their singular beliefs and they're not talking about anything else. You can make a case for them being one dimensional. And I don't say that in a condescending way. They're just so clear on this is what it takes to transform and that's all they preach. They preach it all day long. And what you'll also notice is that they're very hyper focused on a particular topic. So they're not always talking about workouts, nutrition and motivation. They're doubling down on one major theme. So workouts, right? If you go to Jeff's page, like he talks about nutrition every once in a while, but it's primarily workouts, 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 workouts. You know exactly what you're gonna get when you go to his page, right? When you look at these top guys that you're admiring, they're not trying to do a lot of stuff. They're just doing a few things really, really well. So what's your homework? Your job is to figure out what am I most passionate about? Do I like talking about nutrition more or workouts more? And I know like I like both, but people need both. I get it. It doesn't mean that you can't talk about both, but we need to be known for something. You have to be known as, oh yeah, he's the guy that makes at-home workouts for dads that are 20 minutes long without any equipment. Oh yeah, that guy, yeah, that's the dad bod guy. I love that guy, right? People have to know you for somebody. Or maybe you're the low calorie um cooking queen where everything you put on your page are just low calorie recipes or maybe you're the uh, you know uh, get a flat tummy um, at home mom workout girl and everything you post is just like at home body weight workouts like you see what I'm saying you got to decide what category am I going to claim and am I going to own and when you try to own training nutrition motivation you just like what's this guy's specialty so this is your job we just did this with one of our coaching clients, Annika, and she was really struggling to grow her business and she was posting content all over the place, talking head videos, nutrition videos, workout videos, and we asked her, what do you really like doing? She goes, I love teaching people how to work out. I said, why don't you just post workout videos like all the time? Now, if you go to her page and you scroll, you can see she's in the same outfit, she's um, in the same gym, and she's teaching. She's doing what she loves and what she does best teaching. She's just teaching how to train smarter and giving out great workout tips. And you might be thinking, doesn't everybody do that? Yeah, but she's adding her spin on everything and people are connecting to the way she does things. So this is the key. And you know what you're going to get when you go to her page. And since she's made this shift to just doing workout videos, her business is growing. This is how simple it is, my friend. It isn't complicated. You just have to decide what am I most passionate about? What am I most credible on? What do I believe? And then teach that methodology through that theme. Let me know what you're gonna double down on below in the comments. If you have any questions, let me know and we'll see you in the next one.